What's up everybody, Super Deborah X fan here, and today I'm reviewing the Lamborghini LP570 Super Leggera. Uh, this is the flat black, matte black color. Um, I mean, you've seen tons and tons of videos of this car already, so you either love it or you hate it. Most people love it though, it looks awesome, especially in this flat black color. It looks like the Batmobile or something, it just looks so cool. I absolutely love it. Um, I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous here with the huge air intakes. Um, you know, the big rear carbon fiber wing in the back. I mean, just everything about this car just, it screams out at you. It's just so attention grabbing. It just, everyone stops and stares at it. It's just, it's an amazing car. Um, but you already knew that before you even watched this video. So let's go take it for a drive and see what I think about it. So on the inside of this car, uh, the interior is obviously very, you know, aggressive and race inspired. You have the you know, full carbon fiber doors, full carbon fiber center console here. You have the gauge cluster is encased in carbon fiber. The carbon fiber inserts on the bottom of the steering wheel here. Um, it just, it looks very nice, especially it has the yellow contrast stitching, which looks really good too. You have the yellow contrast on the back of the seats and uh, it just, it looks really cool. I mean, obviously, you know, Lamborghini knows how to do a cool interior and this is definitely one of them. So let's take it for a drive and see how it goes. So the first thing you realize when you're driving this car uh, is the steering is very heavy. Um, some cars it's heavy whenever you're at higher speeds. This car it's just heavy all the time, <laughs> which is great though. I mean, you have really good steering feel because of that, but you know, it definitely takes a lot of effort to turn around whenever you're in parking lots and low speed stuff. Another thing that you notice whenever you're driving one of these right away is the dead pedal, because I mean, this is paddle shift, so the dead pedal is really far to the right. It almost feels like where the flush pedal would be if there was a third pedal. Um, so it's, uh, it's a little weird resting your left foot that far over. Um, it's just a little something that takes getting used to. Again, it's just a unique Lamborghini thing. And this car also, the visibility is pretty good out of the front because of how large the windshield is, but it feels very long out in front of you. Um, you feel like there's a lot going on in front of you, so it's, uh, you know, you just have to be mindful of that whenever you're driving around in close quarters. So yeah, um, I'm cruising on the highway right now in this car, and uh, you know, it's very comfortable and smooth, even though this is the, you know, super legera, the lightweight, hardcore version, uh, it's great to have so much torque too. I mean, obviously this is a really fast car, and you know that, you know, from the second you get in it, I mean, the e-gear with the automated manual, you know, it's a little aggressive on the, you know, clutch engagement, so it'll be a little jerky, you know, but again, you're driving a supercar here. This isn't supposed to be, you know, something that you're going to be driving in traffic all of the time, but it's just, I mean, it's just a fantastic car to drive. It's just, it's so connected to the road. It's so, so sharp and quick and immediate. And the second you want to do something, it does it. It's like it's telepathic with how quick it responds to your commands. It's, it's really, I mean, these are awesome cars. And the view out of the back is actually pretty good. Although, unlike the Mercy Lago where, you know, you just had these louvered slats and that's all you could really see out of the back. This car has a reverse camera and the rear window is actually a pretty decent size. You can see out of it fine. A lot of people like to joke around about how you can't see out of Lamborghinis at all. And that's not really true, at least not for me. I don't get that feeling at all. I have good visibility. I can see everything around me really well. I'm not paranoid when I'm making lane changes or anything like that. Um, it's really, an, uh, it's not too hard to drive. I mean, it definitely feels a lot different than anything you've ever driven before. If you've only driven, you know, standard cars, Lamborghinis definitely feel different, but it's, uh, it's definitely something that's, you know, not hard to get used to. It just takes a little bit of a learning curve, that's all. So let's hear just a little bit of how it sounds. Like, obviously this isn't my car, 
car, so I'm not going to go fast, but just to give you a little bit of the exhaust sound. It's just, it's a lot, a lot of fun. It's really cool. It's not too intimidating, you know, it's just, there's a little bit of a learning curve as far as the size and the dimensions, the way things are laid out. Um, but otherwise, it's uh, really normal. It's a really great car. Um, you know, people sometimes talk about, is it worth the money, you know, or wow, I could buy so much with that. Why would you ever buy a supercar or something? But the feeling this gives you and the feeling it gives everyone around you is what's worth that price. It's just, this is a built-in symphony. You know, I don't even need the radio. To me, it's just amazing just to hear that engine note. And uh, yeah, it's, it's spectacular. So uh, very thankful to the owner for letting me drive it and uh, letting me show it to you guys and uh, you know, give you my impressions on it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>